Hey guys, this week we're going to be talking about how to sell an online course. Now, obviously there's a lot of information to include in this. And this video is going to be a little bit longer because I'm going to be talking about a number of them. How you're going to know you're going to be successful. Number two, will you be able to be actually sell your course? Number three, do you know your market? Number four, how to create your course. We're going to go, go into some of the tech that you need. And then um, we'll talk about some sales funnels and that sort of thing. And also how to price your courses. So if you struggle with how to price your stuff, you're not going to want to miss the very end. I'm going to put a snippet there, a video I made from TikTok where I spilled the beans. All right, so let's first try, dive into this. Before you go and you create your course and you do all that, you really want to go through and figure out, are you going to be able to sell it, number one? I would even just start there. If you have no social media following, if you have no email list and nobody to sell your course to, you're either gonna have to go out and sell it to people that you know in person, or you're gonna have to co connect with other people to get them to sell it, or you're gonna have to create an affiliate link and get people to promote your course for you. If you could do any of those, great. If you can't, then I would highly recommend that you don't focus on building a course, that you actually focus on building a community first and giving massive value to that community, then selling your course. Too many people jump the gun and they spend all this time building something and then, you know, then they, they can't sell it. If you do not have people to sell your program to, then wait. But if you know that you can sell your a product or service to an email list, to a community, then chances are you're gonna be successful at selling it. Number two, you want to solve one particular problem that they're having. What you wanna do is map out the process that they have to go through to get the result that you wanna give them. And that will be your course. But before you go on and create the entire course, I highly recommend that you pre-sell it. One way that I'm doing this right now in my own business is I'm launching a program to a brand new program and I'm actually holding live session. So a live webinar where I'm actually doing the teaching and I'm doing three different sessions and I charge for those sessions. Instead of me creating the content first, I get to do it through these live sessions. And then if people buy before we even have the session and they pay for it, then I know that it's a good course idea and that people in the future will purchase it too. But if I were to launch this, and nobody bought, then I would know that it was not the right topic, it wasn't the, the problem that they're dealing with, or my copy was really bad and I need to work on that. Because if you can't sell it, what's the point in putting all your energy into it? What you'll need to do is put up a landing page and sell your product. So I would do a sales video, a promo video, and put up a landing page and a place, you know, hook up your payment gateways and all of that. I use on my website uh, Thrive Architect for my landing pages. I found that most marketers use that. There are fancy things like click funnels, but those are super expensive. And if you don't have an income where you can pay and invest in that right now, the best thing to do is to start inexpensively. And so I use Thrive Architect with WordPress and my theme is Astra and Elementor. I use Astra because most marketers will agree it is the fastest. And it's really, really important that your website is fast if you wanna rank in, in Google. That's a little just pro tip on the side. I use Elementor to build my website versus Divi because Divi, if you want to migrate a website to something new, like a new theme in the future, it does not migrate. It will not shift with your website. Elementor though, it does. It will migrate with everything. So that's just a little caveat. So those are the, those are the tools that I use. If you're not a techie person, go and use lead pages. It's a great solution. It'll do all the things that you need as far as getting people into your email list and be helping you to be able to sell stuff. So that's at the very fundamental the, the base. You get your sales page up, you get it, it all up, you put your list out there, you write your copy, and you get it out there. Now one, one thing you might want to do is go out and start to look at other people's courses that are this exact same. It's good if other people are you know offering the same or similar thing than you and you can find ways to be competitive in that 
market. It's also a really great way to see what other people are charging for their programs so that you can be competitive in your pricing. Then really when it comes to creating your course, if you do like a live stream and you are recording it, you can cut out the fluff, you know, that you want to in the actual live recording. And then all you have to do is put that into a learning platform. There's a lot of different ones out there, depending on where you are in your business, different ones will make sense, sense for you. I have used um, Thinkific before, and I really liked them for a season. Now I use WordPress and LearnDash and WooCommerce. And I really, really love that. And now that I've gotten used to it and learned how to work it and learned how to set it up, because I get to own the content and I get to control the content. It connects to my email. I can set up any sequences or in anything. I could be as fancy as I possibly um, want to be. I could do upsells, all of that. So the truth is, is that um, if you want to do courses and you see this is something that's long-term you're gonna do, I'd highly recommend LearnDash and that you invest in kind of learning how to do it. The other way that you can do it is actually create two, mo two modules first and then do a pre-sell. Now let's talk about actually selling it besides just your email list. So if you're gonna charge a really high price, like $2,000, absolutely recommend that you do a webinar. You can use something like GoToWebinar or there's a, a zillion different ones out there. Use Russell Brunson's template on webinars. That's what I did with the first time that I was doing a webinar. It's a good template and especially if you're new to it, you could just fill in the blanks and there you go. There's many, many different ways that you can do a webinar. That's only one. But if you're starting out, that's a great tool. I highly recommend it. But hopefully you have um, a community that loves what you do, loves the value that you provide and that they actually want to purchase from you. And they actually want to know how to do what you're selling. The other things that you want to think about is um, going to be a welcome series once people sign up. Then you're going to want to think about the series that they get ongoing throughout the program. Then you're going to want to think about all of the emails you're going to send out to sell the program and get people to sign up. Then you also, you know, might want to think about uh, rebinders and all of that kind of stuff. And then you might want to think about all the different assets that are going to go with it. So maybe you create your landing page, you create all your stuff, and then you think, okay, these are going to be my bonuses. And these are the things I'm going to create. They're going to be my bonus offers that I'm giving to people. And then you can also create other downloads and that sort of stuff and put those in there later. But if you wait until the end to do all of that, once people have already purchased it, it also gives you the money to be able to invest in any platforms or anything or any tools that you need to make it the best program possible. So guys, I hope that this video from a big picture, really helps you. I'm going to show you now at the end of this video, some pricing strategy you might want to take advantage of. It's amazing how you can speak right to my heart. Saying no word, you could light up the dark.